All right, folks, I must be losing my mind because I was in Maryland like two days ago or something like that, like maybe even more recent. I took one day off from being in Maryland and uh, I'm heading back down to Northern Maryland because I'm looking for a very colorful hog nose. And this is, some people, you know, might think this is a little crazy because I find a ton of hog noses in Pennsylvania and New Jersey and wherever because I have good spots for them there. But I feel like they kind of like hit a ceiling in terms of color. Um, sorry. Yeah, I think the hog noses kind of like hit a ceiling in terms of color in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Like they can get really, really nice. Like I've, my favorite ever I found in Pennsylvania last spring, but I don't really think they get that much nicer than that. And I feel like I need to top it. So it's a nice cloudy day. Um, it's gonna get up to like almost 80 degrees. And that to me is pretty perfect conditions for finding a hog nose. So let's see what we can do. All right, I'm starting out today hiking up this power line cut now that I've arrived. Um, habitat looks pretty good here. It's pretty dense wood, so my theory is that any hog at this time of year that wants to nest or do whatever is going to have to come out and use some sort of clearing like this. So I'll let you guys know as I find things. All right, first herp of the day. It's a good sign. Hognose food, an American toad. Cool, I'm gonna keep looking. See, so just looking at the soil here, this is the right type of stuff for hognoses, see that? It doesn't necessarily need to be sand, but just kind of loamy, loose soil like that. Sometimes with a lot of clay in it, it can be good. I think we're in the, you know, in the right place. Let's see what we can do. All right, now this is worth going through to see if I can find a milk or something. This could be cool. It wouldn't surprise me if the milks around here were really nice. And nothing in there, but go look in pile. Definitely could have had a milk. All right, first reptile of the day is a handsome mailbox turtle. Shell's a little worn, but he's got a nice face back there. Let me approach him and take a look. I like it when they get the black bellies like this. I think it's really cool. Nice turtle, it's tucked away hiding in there. That's why they call them box turtle because they can close their shell like this. I'm gonna put them back exactly where I found them. Important not to take these guys out of the wild. That's why they're, uh, you know, declining so much across their range. But uh, I don't ever take anything out of the wild anyway. So, uh, just a disclaimer. All right, we just flipped a copperhead in here. Earlier, I uh, almost put my hand on him, so that was pretty sketch. But I think, I'm not really sure where he is. He's, he's probably under this rock. I think he is. The question is, how close is my hand gonna get to him? Wow. This guy was wired. Get one in the sun. That is a pretty copper head. Like we could try to chopstick him out with a stick and before we put all the rocks and shit back. All right, another box turtle. These guys are kind of a staple in Maryland, which is a good thing. Uh, whoa, holy Really f nice face. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a nice one. Dude, I want that face to come out. 
That is gorgeous. Look at that. It's like red in there. Where are your friend the hogs? Dude, like <laughs> if this were a hog, Straight think up. about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, good thing that these things are common in Maryland. Not as much the case in New Jersey, uh, aside from the pine barrens. So uh, good to see a good number of these guys. I'm going to put them down and just let them go on his way. All right, so the next snake, I just saw a racer, but not worth getting film. But there's a nice big basking garter right here. Whoa. That's a good sign for hogs. Hopefully you guys saw that. All right, check this out. Oh, there's two. Grab these suckers. What do you say? Nice. Wow, that's a big rat. There's two of them. Wait, under the tin? Yeah, I always like seeing these guys because we don't have as many in Jersey. We'll help this poor blind guy back to his little home. And look at this guy. This guy's a big one. I don't like that one we got way easy, bud. Look at that. Not as thick as the one we got the other day, but nonetheless, a big, beefy snake. Look at that. That's like a... That's like a... Five and a half foot, six foot rat snake. Maybe he wants to go back in there. I'll leave him to it. I'm gonna get my stuff and keep hiking. All right, Mark just spotted this mating pair of racers in this creek. It looks like they're kind of locked up, which means they're doing the deed. Got another one over here. Another racer? Yeah. Fired up. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good sign or not. <laughs> it means snakes are out. All right, so uh, I got the Maryland beat down again. And uh, me and Mark hiked our butts off for a lot of pretty common snakes. I thought probably the highlight of the day for me was that box drill with a really red face that you guys probably didn't really get to see because it tucked in. Um, and double flipping those two rat snakes under that piece of tin. Um, but, you know, we were exploring new habitat, just some spot I Google mapped in an area with some uh, stories of really red hog noses. So, you know, uh, is what it is. We kind of have a pack now, though, that this spring we're like vowing, it's a long ass drive for me, but we're like vowing to get like an over the top red hog nose. Um, and we'll see what we can do but um so right now i'm gonna head up to the pine barrens um and i'm gonna road cruise with bob ferguson and matt sullivan um it's a little early in the year for that maybe um it's gonna be like 60s but it's gonna be cloudy and really humid so that's good uh conditions for maybe cruising like a coastal or something cool like that so we'll see uh let you guys know when i'm there all right, so uh, finally out on the roads I want to be on now. Um, so we're gonna see what we find. It's like 69 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, really high humidity, which is good. Um, I expect to see some cool amphibians tonight at the least. And um, it's just been such a cold spring that I think things are desperate to move. So we'll see what's up. All right, so uh, we're out here with Bob Ferguson, fascinator guy. Uh, you can check out his channel. I'll link it. Match. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please tell me. Did it fall? No, I got some. Of it. You could definitely hear it. 
<laughs> anyway, Bob's really uh, good with Fowler's toads. He's kind of like the resident Fowler's toad guy, and we're out here finding Fowler's toads, but we heard a Pine Barrens tree frog calling, narrowed it down to this bush, and uh, is it still here? Same spot. Do you see it? Mr. Oh yeah. Mr. Tank. Here, <laughs> <laughs> that's real quick. Uh, no, no problem, Tank. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. It's an endangered species in New Jersey, so uh, definitely need to appreciate it. Are we allowed to curse on your videos? I can bleep it out, but it makes more work if I. I want to know if it was there. Like, there's no way it was there the whole time. We would have seen it. We checked that whole area. Maybe it was passing through. Or it, like, it just came out and was like, ooh, this is a warm spot. Dude, that thing on my leg is killing me, dude. And there's not like any discoloration or anything. Like that. It's like somebody lit it on fire. All right, got a little spade foot toad right here. Um, I will. Bye. <laughs> that was Matt Sullivan. Um, another spade foot toad right here. They're pretty cool little frogs. Can you hold that real quick for me? I just want to pick them up. Oh, look at that. These things are like aliens. I found one of these in Georgia. Looks pretty similar, actually. You see the spades on his back feet? Oh yeah, that's right. It's kind of covered in stuff. Yeah, this, this is kind of kind of like he's got whitish colored spades on his feet. Cool, that's what they dig with. But we're gonna let this guy go on his way, and uh, that's probably gonna be it for tonight because it is late and it was a long, not super successful day. <laughs> but uh, that happens.